Here we have a fairly ordinary welding mask auto dimming off eBay. Now, yeah, these things are great. They're the uh, adjusters inside there for sensitivity and dimness, etc. And one on the top there. But how do you know they're actually working? It sounds stupid, but you really want this to be working before you use it. And the test that I use is this. So what you're going to need is just an ordinary remote control like this one. You're going to need your helmet and that probably is about it. I'm doing this slightly different because I'm going to be filming from inside the helmet. So really what you need to do is put a torch inside the helmet so it's shining outwards and then you'll be set up for the test, which is basically use the remote control to trigger the auto dimming on the helmet. It's the infrared that will trigger this to dim. We're gonna use the camera, but like I say, get a torch behind there and you'll clearly see the light will dim as soon as you press a button on the remote control, or in theory, that's how it works. So let's try and do this with you inside the helmet. Be able to demonstrate this with a single flash, like so. So, you're now in the helmet. I've got the remote control, as you can see here, to trigger the auto dimming on the helmet. It's and if I hold the remote control button down, the auto dim stays on. Off, on, off, on. So that is a really simple test to do. There. And if I hold the remote control button down, there it is, and we start doing the remote switching. There you go. Press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go. So this has got lithium battery in it and a solar panel to charge that. So it is worth testing before you use your, your helmet to weld with. Thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on another one. Whew.